So change of plans. I did not get up to Squamish or get to overnight based on what happened yesterday. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna head up to Squamish today, up the Mamaquam uh, Forestry Road that uh, splits off into the Indian uh, River Arm Road. And I'm gonna go down that and see where I can get to on there. I think I'm gonna eventually get stopped by some kind of a roadblock. I know there's a watershed there, so I'll probably have to turn around there, but I'm gonna look for a spot to camp. If I can't find anything there, then I'll uh, head to Mamaquam Road. And I know there's lots of different camping spots there, so I'm gonna spend the night. I've got, uh, Holy too much stuff for uh, one night. And I've got the uh, soft boxes on. If you, uh, you remember from the last video that I did last year where I was testing my skills out and I had those boxes on and then they ripped the straps off. So we'll see, I jury rigged those together and we'll see how well they hold. And uh, just gonna head up the sea to sky and uh, get some gas and squamish. All right, let's hit the road. My raspberry bushes are doing good, but something ate all my lettuce. I think it's a mole. I've got one little lettuce growing. The carrots are gonna be awesome. And as usual, every year, my tomato pants, pants, tomato pants, my tomato plants grow big, but I never get any tomatoes. You'll be amazed to know that I remember to put my earplugs in. So change of plans, I did not get up to Squamish or get to overnight based on what happened yesterday. I had just gotten about 10 minutes into the trip when uh, this woman was crossing the road in the middle of nowhere no crosswalk or anything and she runs out I see her on the median she looks at me and uh, she continues to go and as I got closer she stutter stepped I thought okay she's gonna stop what the hell is she doing and then she starts running and I swerved but couldn't avoid hitting her and I ended up smashing into her I think just with the uh, handlebars on the left side so it wasn't a full hit on. But I went flying as you could see from the picture, skidded out. So my whole right side, the whole right side of the bike took a beating, but somehow this Tenere is still going. So I'm just on my way to the shop right now to drop it off and have the repairs done. Luckily the uh, insurance We'll cover all that. So as uh, I'll show you some of the damage. So the windscreen got all scraped. The uh, hand guards did their job, protected the whole that whole side of the bike. These heed crash bars that I got, just awesome. They uh, took the beating kept the bike from breaking anything more serious. Didn't get to the oil pan, the engine casing or anything. Didn't even, didn't even crack the side panels, which is amazing. Dented the exhaust a bit, scraped some of the lights. But yeah, yeah. the bike fared really well. The uh, left shifter, the clutch shifter, foot pedal is bent in a little bit it's a bit stiffer tougher to shift so those uh, soft side bags that I had got completely ripped off so they were in a bit of a state before but now they're completely destroyed and uh, same thing for my gear so I have nothing but praise for these companies that make this gear so this I've had this Olympia jacket for a very long time 10 years at least and uh, 
As you can see, the only thing that happened was the arm ripped open, but protected my shoulders and my arms. I got an abrasion on my arm, not too bad. And my pants, oh, my knee's a bit sore because I landed on it. But the uh, pants did their job. So they, uh, they got ripped and shredded, but protected my legs. My gloves got shredded, but I have a little tiny cut on my ring finger. But that's it. And uh, some good whiplash. So my neck and back are super sore. I'm, I'm on some good, strong ibuprofen. I got some muscle relaxants for the night to sleep. But overall, I uh, fared pretty well. After the woman ran out and I hit her, and I went down, I was able to angle myself. My foot was caught up in the handlebars. And once I realized that, uh, that I was okay, mostly, I looked back and uh, she was lying face down unconscious, so I immediately went to render her first aid. Based on my job, like I mentioned last time, I'm a firefighter, so I immediately uh, rendered her first aid, got some passerbys to call 911 and until fire department and paramedics could come and take over. So she regained consciousness while I was dealing with her, but uh, there was a language barrier. She was an old Asian lady. So unfortunately, uh, I couldn't get the extent of her injuries, but at least she was conscious and seemed to be in uh, not too bad of shape. So there won't be any tripping with Mitch motorcycle videos for a little bit, because I don't know how long it's going to take to uh, get the bike repaired and fixed up. But I'll keep you guys posted. So it's super important, guys, that uh, you wear the proper gear out there. I can't even imagine what would have happened if I didn't have uh, all this protection. All right, just arriving at hole shot, so we're gonna go in and get the rundown. Stay safe out there, guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe. As you can see, I'm, as you can see, as you can see, I'm still riding the bike. So we went over with the uh, insurance claims guy and he said, well, the bike's going to be here at least for a few months and uh, with all the damage to it, it's going to be a pricey bill and may get uh, even written off. But since it's structurally sound and all the cosmetic stuff is so expensive, he said, uh, why don't you ride it till the fall and then, uh, and then bring it in. And I'm like, well, since it's okay to ride, and I'm gonna be taken off in late October for a couple months, then uh, that would be the perfect time to bring the bike in. So we uh, went over it, took a bunch of pictures of all the damage, and uh, so now I can still ride it for the rest of the uh, rest of the summer. Right on. Well. Stay tuned guys for what's coming next. Maybe we'll try and get up to that Squamish trip next week. Otherwise, be sure to like and subscribe. What do you know it? Of course I forgot my earplugs.